Lane, come on down. Nope. How are you? Today? I'm okay, I suppose. Work's fine. Hilda's fading fast. Terry's Terry. I feel a bit sad, to be honest. I gave all my keepsakes back. Um. It's true then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird. That so whoever did it would choose the paper spike. Spike? Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked. I remember once. He pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit, here, between his thumb and his finger. He said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but actually, there wasn't any. Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. It was nothing. I was just trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps fighting me. It'll be better after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. Why? Well, I thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious, me having things that have belonged to patients who've died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes back. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Not her usual self. Maybe she's got a bug or something. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Why did you feel sad? I know it's silly, but those things meant a lot to me. They were reminders that I'd helped those people. Why wasn't there any blood from the people? I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. Dr. Decker gave me the paper spike to try. It wasn't fake. It was pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said he just thought that it wouldn't hurt him. So it didn't? You know the answer to that, Doctor. What have we been talking about? What can I do for Hilda that will make it all better? Seriously? No, that isn't what I meant. That's the plan. I know, it sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Yeah, go on then. Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? Okay, hold on. It's actually close his eyes. Sorry, I don't think it's going to work. On the bright side, that probably means you're not going to die anytime soon. It's tricky. I mean, 
I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version the best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. Does it really matter if it isn't the truth? Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? Tell me honestly, doctor, do you really think that what I'm doing is wrong? Good, because I really feel this is something I have to do. Why did you say I'm not going to die today? Why? As far as I know, it only works on people who are close to death. That's the whole point of it. I have to hold their hand, and they have to think of the person, and they have to be near death. And those seem to be the three criteria. It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing Dr. Decker. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're gonna have a field day with it. Yeah, that's the reason I came to see him. I knew she was dying, but he refused to talk to me unless I booked a session, so I did. And well, here we are. I told Dr. Decker that his mum was dying that he should see her before it's too late. But he wasn't interested. It wasn't like he hated her. It was just like it wasn't important. He asked me to take care of it for him. He did send his assistant along to see her once. Sorry, your assistant. It was about the second, third session we had. He said he could tell that I was a good person, that I wanted to help people, and that I should think really hard about how I could do that. That's how I discovered shifting. <laughs> all Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. But the shifting, that's all me. And my mum's a psychic, and my sister's an empath, but I was just ordinary. I always felt like I wasn't special, like I was missing out. But I wasn't. I just hadn't discovered what I could do yet. Sarah Decker was one of the first ones I tried shifting for. I didn't really know what I was doing that first time. I mean, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. I just thought, what would really help this woman? I thought maybe she would just imagine that he was there. <sighs> but it actually happened. I changed into him. Dr. Decker. It blew my mind. My mum's got these spirit guides and they tell her things. Mostly about my love life, it would seem. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what an empath is. I should probably Google it sometime. Um. Right. Is the little china bird, sort of a yellowy blue pattern on it. I don't think it's worth anything. No. What?
The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that, even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. I want to be your. Oh, oh, oh. You said Sarah Dacker was one of your first patients. I've been a nurse for ages, but I've only worked at the nursing home for uh, the last year. I tend to move around quite a bit. I get quite fidgety if I stay in the same place too long. Mm. Oh, stop doing that. When did, when did Sarah Decker When did Sarah Decker die? I can't remember exactly. I'd only just started seeing Dr. Decker. Why didn't you Why didn't you hold my hand to share? Well, I wasn't sure if it would still work. Sorry. It's just I get a sense that I probably shouldn't say, but well, just think what it would mean for you if I'd been able to shift. I put why don't instead of why didn't. Let's, put, let's, try, let's try the message again. Why didn't you? Oh, I did. My hand to shift. Oh, I did. Yeah. Well, so stupid. What? Was you trying? I've got her on a herbal compound, um, St. John's wort for pain, ginkgo for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage, there's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Right. What? What would it What would it mean? What would it mean if if you could shifted? 
Am I near that? Am I? Am I? Am I near? It's probably nothing. I'm not right all the time. It's just, well, yes, your energy's different. And I was also worried about what I might change into. What? What smoke? Um. What smoke and mirrors are you talking about? Are you? It's like I'm a mirror and I'm just reflecting back to them what they want to see. I completely change. My face, my hair, my clothes, my voice, everything. Mm. Um. Sounds like Herbert isn't working. Is it working? It feels it's still dying. I'm sure it is. At the very least, it should make her feel more comfortable, ease her suffering. Are you? Are you around to give? Rules are that you're not supposed to give a patient anything that isn't on their charts. But I talked it over with Kilda first, and she was happy to try the herbal approach. I like to see the. in greedy I like to see the four I like to see the four ingredients of what Hilda is on of what Hilda Hilda is on Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'd have to check. I have it written down somewhere. You said you came to see 
six king to see Daka. Four. Nobara's mother. really stressed about work. Well, maybe a little, but not enough to need a therapist. I just told you that because I didn't want you to know the real reason why I came to see Dr. Decker. Alright, um, why? Why, why are you worried? Uh, why are you worried about what you might change? Why are you worried about what you might change into into when you said I've had a couple of bad experiences while shifting I don't really want to talk about all that now though What's wrong with it seems a bit I don't know murky and sort of a bit crackly at the same time like there's a lot of electricity around you it's hard to describe you breaking the aren't you breaking the rules aren't you breaking the rules by giving me not going to hurt her and the doctors at the home don't care much They're hardly around anyway it's the nurses that take care of the patients besides dr decker didn't have a problem with it so you talked to talked about it once. He said I should do what I wanted and not worry about what anyone else thought. Um, you believe 
save. Absolutely. I'm not being big headed or anything, but I'd do anything for my patients. Right. Oh, she's green now.